Hi there, welcome back to another quick and easy watercolor painting. Uh, we're gonna work on uh, some nice, loose, free, sort of open paintings today. And uh, I just put some, just put a little bit of uh, Payne's Gray on there. And then I put some uh, blue sort of in a streak that's coming down this way and I'm gonna bump up the saturation level here of this this uh, Payne's gray just let that bleed a little bit and I'm gonna put a little bit put a little bit more blue into this too just to see what we get and I'm gonna take this brush I'm not gonna pick up I'm not going to um, wet it anymore, but I'm going to put this right into the Payne's Gray. And uh, we're just going to tap it along our wet line here and uh, see if we can get something to, to bleed a little bit for us. Okay? And don't, don't uh, try to augment it or move it around. Just let it do its own thing. I'm going to take this brush and I'm gonna put it into the water. And I'm not going to, um, I didn't rinse it out, I just put it into the water and I put it right back into, onto the page. Put a little bit more water into this. And you can, you can, hear, you can hear me tapping it onto the page. I'm going to take this brush, again, I'm not going to wet it or anything. I'm going to put it into, into some sienna. And I'm just going to add that into some places along there. Pick up some more sienna. And I'm just going to tap it on there and let it run together. Now, this is kind of a cool looking thing right here. I mean, this could be sort of a snow covered hill if you so wished but um that's not really what i'm going for so i'm going to take a, a little bit of yellow ochre and i'm just going to mix up some yellow ochre with some water and when you touch it to that that should bleed start to bleed back into it and then I'm going to take this yellow ochre I'm going to touch it in a few places along there pick up some more yellow ochre put it into some places along there and that should all start to should all start to bleed for us now I'm going to take this brush uh, I'm not going to rinse it off you can see where there's some yellow ochre on it I'm going to put it into the water and pull it right back out real quick and then I'm just going to put some that yellow ochre in a few places like that. Break up that hard line that we had across there. Now I'm just going to take this, put it back into the Payne's Gray. And this is probably going to be the end of what we're going to do here. Let's just let that all blend together and see what we get. It's fun to play like this sometimes. All right, let's let this sit and uh, we'll come back when it dries. All right, so look at all these little things that um, happened here. You know, this little tree line back here and everything without us really doing too much to this at all when we put our mat on here and you see it turned out very cool let me know what you think about it in the comments section i'd love to hear from you please uh leave me a comment let me know where you're from if you're currently a subscriber i thank you very much and if you're not currently a subscriber please consider subscribing to my channel i'd love to hear from you see you again next time